Hey guys, my name is Seppi and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to actually be talking about Godzilla vs. Kong. So quick little note on that. The marketing marketing campaign has been so strange for Godzilla vs. Kong that uh, and non-existent that I kind of fell off from talking about the movie for a while. I can't remember even if I made a video on that. But now we're going to be talking about it because there is a lot going on. A couple things of note. The Funko Pops were announced. They look awesome. The 10 inch ones. The movie, oh, the movie, uh, it got pushed from May to March, pushed forward. So the movie now comes out March 26th. That's a Friday, March 26th. That's awesome. I'm so excited for that. Hopefully that means theaters are actually gonna be expected to be pretty filled up given everything that's going on with the pandemic and everything. Kind of a power play, but I think it's good news. And then also Godzilla vs Kong, legendary pictures. They're kind of in court <laughs> with Warner Bros right now from doing some pretty stupid stuff. So we're not gonna talk too much about that. Let's just get right into the trailer predictions. Top five predictions. The first one, this isn't going to be a teaser trailer. This is going to be the trailer. The movie comes out in just over two months. This isn't gonna be a quick little 30 second to a minute long tease. This is gonna be the full blown movie. Maybe clocking in at just over two minutes. We're probably looking at a runtime of about that. And it's going to be the entire story. <laughs> <laughs> Which leads me to my second prediction. Not only is this going to be the full story trailer, it's going to be the full story trailer. And what I mean by that is if you kept up with the marketing of Godzilla King of the Monsters, the first trailer was gorgeous. The second trailer was action packed. And then I started to realize after TV spot, after TV spot, after TV spot, after TV spot, that I had already seen the entire film. And I have a feeling that's what they're going to do for this one. Prediction number three. Yes, it's going to be the full story trailer. Yes, it's going to give away a lot. But I think a lot of that's going to have to do with the humans. Monarch, Millie Bobby Brown, whatever she's doing, because we have no idea what's going on. I feel like in order for them to get people to come in, yeah, obviously Big Monster is fighting, which we will get to. But, you know, you still got to bring people in with a human story. And I think that given where King of the Monsters left off, spoilers, the world exploded. And there is a couple big monsters and a couple people left. <laughs> and we're going to see where that goes. So it's the story is very up in the air. We have some leaks, little tiny hints at where the story might be going. But I think a lot of it's going to show, you know, the desolation that Godzilla has created along with all the other, like, you know, Ghidorah has created and Godzilla fighting him and what that entails. A lot of what's going on with humanity, a lot of what Monarch is trying to do about it. We're going to be introduced to the bad guys and we're going to see Millie Bobby Brown be a little bit more of a rogue type character. I think that they're going to show that everything that has happened to her in the previous film is going to heavily play into how her character acts in this one. There's probably going to be shots of you know, either what happened in the last movie or just showing her being sad about her mom, you know, just confused about everything that's gone on. And I think she's going to kind of go off on her own and become kind of like a rogue type character. So we'll probably see a lot of Millie Bobby Brown. Prediction number four. I think we are on prediction number four. We are going to get also a lot of Godzilla shots, which sounds good. But again, I hope it's not everything. I think we're going to see shots of Godzilla swimming a lot because in the little two second clips we've been getting here and there, um, they show Godzilla swimming a lot. So we'll see some of those. Um, so basically all the two second clips we've gotten are going to also be in the trailer, busting out of the water, swimming, roaring at the camera, the now infamous aircraft carrier scene. And they're just going to double down on that crap. I think it's exciting, but it makes no sense. But uh, yeah, Kong, they're going to definitely elude through dialogue or visuals how big Kong has gotten and that he is a formidable foe for Godzilla. I think we're going to see his axe, whether it be him blocking. People suspect he's going to, it, it looks like it's made out of Godzilla's dorsal fin, I guess, kind of, you know, it, it looks kind of like it's made out of that. So people suspect that he's going to use it to like deflect Godzilla's atomic breath because the big thing is, oh, one atomic blast and Kong's on fire. Yeah, probably. But he's got this axe, which probably draws the power in. We'll probably see a shot about that. Every single fight they partake in is going to be shown in this trailer, I imagine their first fight on the, whether it's their first fight or not, but their fight on the aircraft carrier, whatever other cities they go to, Hong Kong, I know is a big set piece in this. And that all leads me to my final prediction. Since we're getting the whole movie in this trailer, most likely, um, I imagine we're also gonna see at least a hint 
of a spoiler being Mechagodzilla, the possibility of Mechagodzilla and or any other kaiju that are going to show up in the film. So I think that those possibilities are very likely, and I feel like because I can't imagine that they're going to put out a full-ass other trailer, that they're going to tease Mechagodzilla in this or whoever else is going to be in it, and then the TV spots are maybe going to show a little bit more. Those are my top five predictions. I feel like they are pretty reasonable. It sounds like I'm being negative about it. I'm still gonna be hyped as hell to see this trailer. I just feel like they show too much in the trailers and now that they only got two months to get people into the theaters, they're gonna do probably something similar. Unless they take the complete opposite route and are like, hey, this movie got moved up, that's unexpected. Why don't we show you a full two minute trailer that is just kind of a clip of a scene that doesn't show too much and we get some hero shots of our kaiju. That could also be a possibility and that is what my fingers are crossed for. I, I hope that happens. Guys, I'm excited. I'm excited to be talking about Godzilla vs Kong. I am super excited to see the movie. I hope it does so well in whatever box office it can. <laughs> and I hope it, it proves to have good numbers on HBO Max because it is gonna be a day and date release on the streaming service and in theaters. I hope it makes enough money and they and Warner Brothers, whatever the, they're doing in court with Legendary Pictures, they settle on a deal that can allow the MonsterVerse to continue. This is a very important movie for the MonsterVerse. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That, those are my predictions. Let me know what your predictions are in the comments down below. Who do you think's gonna win, Godzilla or Kong? Are they gonna team up and fight whoever else? Um, just let me know in the comment section down below. Like and subscribe if you haven't already and yeah. See you.